guys, in this video I will show you how to download digital elevation models directly in QGIS. You can download this type of layer in many websites available. This type of raster layer, different from satellite imagery, where you can see the colors and shapes of the ocean, forests, deserts, well, this type of data, it represents elevation data. DEM stands for Digital Elevation Model. It has information about elevation. So each pixel of this raster layer, it contains a specific value of elevation, okay? And now let me show you how you can download it directly in QGIS. Well, you have to go right here on Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins, all and search for open topography okay it's this plugin right here you have to install okay and it provides us several options for DEMs like the SRTM, ALOS, Copernicus and NASA DEN. There are websites that you can download each of them directly like SRTM, you can download through USGS Earth Explorer, but this plugin is very helpful because it allows us to download all of them in just one plugin, okay? So first we have to create an API key, okay? On this specific website. So you have to open this website. It's already open right here. And you have to click on request an API key. Probably you don't have an account and all you have to do is create a new account. It's very simple. Well, I have my own account right here. I will log in. And now all you have to do is click on request API key and click on this button. It will generate an API key. I will select it and copy. I will go back to QGIS and this plugin is available on the raster menu right here, okay? Open topography DEM. But before we use it, let's add a base map to our project just to select a specific area. So Google Maps with the HCM GIS plugin. Uh, let's see for Spain. Madrid, okay, you can go to raster, open topography and click right here. In this first option, you can select from which data set you want to download this data from. So I will select SRTM 30 meters. You can define the extent to download. You can calculate from a specific layer. For instance, you may have a vector layer that has the boundaries of Madrid or your city. And you can select it right here. You can use the map canvas extent. It's this rectangle right here. Or you can draw on canvas. I will select it. Okay. And now I can insert my API key. Okay. The next time you open this plugin, your API key will already be here. It will be stored here, okay? So you can select a place to save this raster or you can create a temporary layer. So I will run, okay? And you can change the data set. For instance, I want to download the NASA then right now. Let's run again. Okay, perfect. Now you can close it and now you have these two files right here. They are almost the same, okay? Just a few differences. And since we didn't select a place to save this file, it is a temporary file. So to save it on your computer, right click, export, save as, and right here you select where you want to save this file. For instance, I will save it on my desktop. Madrid, NASA Den. Save. Okay. And before we go, just a quick warning about these layers is that sometimes they don't come with 
information about the CRS. Sometimes you may see this warning that the layer has no coordinate reference system set. So right now it doesn't have any problem because I'm using uh, WGS84 as the project CRS. But for instance, if I select another CRS, like a projected CRS, let's see, UTM zone 30 north and select WGS UTM zone 30 north. This area is located in this zone. Let's click OK. Now let's deactivate these two layers. You can see that we can't see this layer right now. If I click on it and click on zoom to layers, you will see that it's floating somewhere else. That's because of this arrow right here, okay? All you have to do is double click and select WGS84, EPSG4326. Just click OK. And now you can right click, zoom to layer. It will be set on the correct place, okay? So this is it for this video. See you next class.